Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful morning. I sure am. I just wanted to drop you a little note here uh, as I get ready to partake in my liquid prayer. Uh, already we're seven, eight days in the new year, and many of you are expecting or have expected or have received the unexpected, whether it be bad news, uh, whether it be uh, family members acting crazy, kids missing, death, uh, destruction, job loss, whatever the case may be. You've already experienced that in the new year. I'm trying to tell you, don't you dare for one moment allow the enemy to try and define the rest of your year by the events that have happened in just a few days. One of the things that the enemy comes to do is to steal, kill, destroy, or I like to say he comes to separate you uh, from everything that God has aligned for you in terms of his best. He's not after your job. He's not after your car. He really doesn't want your money. He doesn't care about that stuff. What he's after is your peace, because if he has your peace, he has your hope. No hope. There's no expectation, no expectation. There could definitely be no faith. And that's what he wants to use to try to distract you and destroy you and cause you to believe that God's not going to do what he promised to do for you this year. It's your year. It's your time. It's time for you to reign. It's time for you to step out of the shell of other people's opinion and sit on top of the mountain of influence through the dreams and imaginations that the king has given you. And I'm telling you, you're going to reign in this year. It's going to be one of the greatest years you've ever seen in your life. So don't you dare allow this year to be defined by a few days of trouble. It's going to get better. Keep your head up. It's your main man, Terrence Pickett. Y'all excuse me while I partake in my liquid prayer. Won't he do it? My God is able. I'm telling you, my God is able.